hello there and welcome to my channel thank you for taking the time to drop by today i'm going to take a look in lightroom classic at how we can crop multiple images um, as fast as we possibly can so to set the scenario for this task um, i've got 24 images of myself i believe they are probably cropped to uh, for the three ratio I'm going to change that um, to two to three on all of the pictures and um, let's see how we get on with that um, actually on a, on an aside you may have noticed I do seem to have quite a lot of hats um, that's my wife's fault um, every time it comes to Christmas or my birthday or father's dear she always says to me what would you like but you can't have a hat so I always say, oh, okay, darling. Well, actually, there is this very lovely Fuji X lens that I've been looking at. And she goes, hmm, I'll get you a hat. That's why I have all these hats. When I look at this collection of pictures, I don't see hats. I see Fuji X lenses that could have been. But uh, never mind. Let's move on. Actually, before we look at how we can crop multiple images, I want to look at um, two ways that I think that we can't. Um, and the first way is um, if you are if you've used Lightroom Classic previously, you may have seen under the Quick Develop option, which we get in Library View only. Um, under the Quick Develop option, you used to have here in these um, control boxes here. There was a box that allowed us to crop. Now that is no longer available in Lightroom Classic, but if you still have an older version, um, you may still have that um, option. So that's one way that was, but is no more. So let's get rid of that. A second way that I thought maybe you can crop multiple images might be in presets. So um, let's take a very, just a very quick look at presets and see what options we got there. So to go to presets, we need to be into the develop mode so i'm going to press the letter d shortcut bring us into develop okay so we've got this this image here and on the left hand pane we've got the built-in presets uh for my lightroom classic i've scrolled through these and i've looked up and down as much as i can find i'm not going to go into them in any detail now just waste time i cannot find any that would help me to change crops of images and I think that kind of makes sense that it wouldn't really be something that you would do as a preset but just to be doubly sure um, I clicked on the add new presets button to take a look if I could create a preset and, and add something myself so if I do that I get the dialog box to create my own preset and looking at the options I have here again I can find nothing for crop now I could be wrong. If I am, please drop me a note. Um, but I couldn't find anything. So can't use presets and can't use the quick develop tool. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to go back to the library and we'll uh, go through one of two methods that we, we can do this. So the first method we're going to use to um, change the crop on all these images is we're going to use the sync button um, so to do that first of all we need a, a donor image I'm going to select the, the first image here and go into develop and we need to go to the crop tool so if I press the letter R on my keyboard that's going to bring me straight into develop and straight to the crop tool so we're in the right place so the letter R useful shortcut for cropping Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to change the aspect from original and I want to come down to 2, 3. So we can see there we've got a different size crop. I'm now going to, just for the sake of demo, I'm going to bring that in a bit more and make that change there. And then I'm going to click on close. So we've changed the ratio on that image. I now want to copy that um, ratio change across to the 
23 remaining images. So all I need to do is we've got our, we can see all our images on the bottom of my screen there. I'm going to, um, I'm using a Windows laptop, so I'm going to um, press Control A, and you'll see there now those images have now, have now all been selected. And then I'm going to select this sync button here. So if I press this button now, we get this dialog box. You want to ensure for this task that everything else is unchecked and you are just you are just left with the crop option. Once you've done that, click on synchronize. Give that a moment and you may have noticed the changes happening along the bottom there. Let's uh, return to the library and we can see each of the images has been adjusted to the uh, two three ratio. So that's great. But when you change the ratio on multiple images, you're not always going to get the crop to your liking. So you may have to edit some of these images. Um, again, Lightroom tries to make that a little bit easier for you. So if we again were to look at, um, I'll select a different image this time, just for the shape of it. Um, if we go back into edit, I'm going to press the letter R again. Take us, so we're back into the crop mode. So we're looking at the crop now, which is three, uh, two, three. We're happy with that on this one, but we want to look at the next one or the next one after that. But I don't really want to be closing this one down, coming back, moving backwards and forwards. We don't have to do that in Lightroom. What we can do is if we hold down the control and either the left or the right arrow, usually you'll be going right, the right arrow, we can flip through the images without having to close down the previous one. So that's quite nice. So if I show you that, I'll hold down the control and now press the right arrow. I can flip through the images and quickly adjust any of those that I want to. So that is really helpful. And that is one way of copying across a change to a ratio using the sync button. Let's go back to the library. I'm just going to um, reset all these images. Um, so what I'll do is they are, we can see down here that the 24 images are, are all selected. I'm just going to hold down the control key and I'm going to click on image number one and deselect that. So I've now got 23. So I want to keep this um, image as it is because it's got the ratio that I want to demo again. So for the remaining images, I'm going to come up to photo. I just want to reset these images. That's all I'm doing here. So I'm coming down to photo, develop settings and reset. So Image number one is set to two, three. All the others are back to original, which is probably four, three ratio, um, but that's by the by. So I now, what I want to do now is a second way of copying that ratio change to the remaining images. So for this method, I need to be in the library mode, which we are, I've got my donor image selected and I'm going to go to photo develop settings again this time I'm going to copy settings again the dialog box will come up and I want to ensure everything else is deselected I just want the crop options selected and then I'm going to press copy okay I'm now going to reselect all my images so I'm going to do Control A in Windows again. And you can see down the bottom there, now all my images are selected. I could, if I want, I could deselect by holding down Control number one, because that's already done, but everything else is selected. I now come back to Photo on the top, back down again to Develop Settings. And this time I'm going to paste the settings. We won't get to a dialog box. It would just do the paste. 
So I'll click on paste settings and you now see all the images have now changed to the two to three ratio. So that's the two ways I know of doing it. I'm no expert in um, Lightroom by any stretch of the imagination. This is just, I'm just showing you what I found. If there are other ways, then please drop me a line in the, in the comments. Other than that, I, th I think that's as about as much as I can share. So uh, again, thank you for your time. Very much appreciated. Have a good day and goodbye.